my grandkids. Today is a beautiful crisp fall day. Perfect for reading a fall ball for all. In this book, the word ball means a kind of party or dance. And in the story told through the poem in this book, the autumn wind is inviting all the animals to the annual windfall ball. Now it's kind of important for you to understand what windfall means. So important that the author included a definition. Let's read it. Windfall, one, fruit or other crops blown down by the wind. Two, an unexpected gift or good fortune. A windfall is a special treat for creatures in nature. It could be fruit blown down from trees, made much easier for animals to gather, or, as in this story, it could be a whole pile of food to last through a long winter. And sometimes a windfall means a sudden bit of good luck, even for people. Let's find out what happens at the windfall ball. A Fall Ball for All by Jamie A. Swenson Illustrated by Chiara Fideli. Once upon a golden day, autumn wind blew into play, whooshing leaves into the air, orange, brown, purple everywhere. At every burrow, den, and nest, an invitation fell to rest. You're invited, one and all, to the annual Windfall Ball. Geese postponed their grand migration. Bears and bats, their hibernation. Excitement for the party grew, from great gray owl to smallest shrew. The creatures donned their autumn best, fur and feather primped and pressed. Coyote groomed, pheasant preened, porcupine shook, otter cleaned. The nights grew longer into fall as autumn wind prepared the ball. Squalls sent pumpkins tumbling round. A breeze shook apples to the ground. Gusts and gales and tempest forces set a fate with seven courses. Cranberries, chestnuts, corn, and plums. Sunflowers, daisies, chrysanthemums. Harvest moon set the night aglow. Guests arrived, some fast, some slow. With time to nibble, greet, and play, while festive tunes got underway. Rabbit and turtle tapped a beat as wind composed an autumn sweet. Soon the night was filled with song, a blustery chorus sang along. Then autumn wind began to dance. It breezed, it blew, it puffed, it pranced, beckoning both big and small to join and step at the windfall ball.
Turkey strutted with elk and quail. Beaver kept time with his tail. A swirling night of celebration. Windy, joyful jubilation. In the shindig's happy wake, an autumn treasure for all to take. A windfall feast, a winter's cash to gobble, bury, store, or stash. Chipmunks filled their furry cheeks. Raccoons took pumpkins, corns, and leeks. Then Badger raised one final toast for all who gathered and their host. And every burrow, hill, and nest was ready then for winter's rest. Autumn waved goodbye to all until the next year's windfall ball. The windfall ball. The animals got what they needed to make it through a long, cold winter. Here's the author's note, giving you some more information about the story. The animals at the Windfall Ball represent those found in the north woods of the United States. In Wisconsin, where I live, autumn is a time for harvesting the fruits of the warm season and preparing for a long, cold winter. Warm-blooded animals may have adapted to survive the winter weather, or they may hibernate or migrate to warmer areas until the snow and ice melt away. But whether they stash food away or eat more in the fall to fatten up, the animals must find enough food to sustain themselves until spring. Fall has always felt like a celebration to me as leaves turn bright colors and the season's last fruits and vegetables ripen. There are a few things I enjoy more than on a crisp, autumn day as leaves and petals dance in the wind and squirrels scurry about preparing for the winter. It wasn't hard for me to imagine a wonderful windfall ball somewhere deep in the woods to carry on that celebration. Now, if only I could find my invitation. Hope you enjoyed that windfall ball poem. Love you guys. Miss you. Bye.